how you guys have your own trajectory when you join the special forces and mm-hmm. i've had these same conversations with major arun as well just very different mentality with you guys and from the outside looking in i believe it's because of two things in particular mm-hmm. one is the training and the mentality you develop during the training mm-hmm. you'd explain this to me and i'd love for you to cover that aspect on the podcast mm-hmm. and the second thing is actual combat practicals if you may mm. theory and your practicals of what you've studied mm. feel that that really changes you as a human being mm. so first sir would you agree when i say that, that yeah absolutely up? absolutely and your experiences unlock your own potential of what you are that's yeah. it so could could you highlight these two phases of your life and what you gained again as a man like you know because i feel every human being has that process we are going from being a child to becoming an adult and it happens repeatedly but specifically when we're talking about the indian special forces I feel like these are the two big changes your training and actually going through combat. I'd love to know that. <clears throat> so special forces uh is a state of mind like I said, right? It's a state of consciousness level, it's a state of being exploratory in nature and willing to put in all that you have to be able to see more, to explore more at even the cost of your own life. and your cost of the attachments that you have right so in the special forces or i'll speak about myself i would look even i would look for all these probationers who would come i would look for that spirit now if that guy had that spirit it's very easy to spot it you know tuck you can pick it up right so when you spot it then it's just a matter of letting it happen the selection process of special forces is so intense that you know all your all your paraphernalia of your ego and 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 your perceptions of yourself and all those things they dissolve in the amount of energy which is expended or you are exposed to it just shatters all that is around you and very quickly you are brought out from there so and then looked at so you mean seen. like energy like physical mental emotional all kinds yeah yeah full spectrum of energy your yeah. circumstances around you the world that you are experiencing be it what your body is experiencing what your what your eyes are seeing basically what your mind is experiencing in those set of circumstances which are created time tested set of circumstances which are created to break you and then see what is there and expose it bring it out and have a clear look at it and straight away make a judgment that do i want to walk with this man in combat or not if i am going exploring would i want this guy by my side or not mm. can i trust this man to be able to do what needs to be done right so uh so the first filtration process starts from the volunteering phase itself and uh so people it takes a lot to volunteer for the special force especially when you've been in the academy you've been in nda for 3 3 and a half years whatever like me 3 and a half years i got relegated i had a broken leg blah 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 so 3 years in the nda and then one year in the ima and then after all of this intense amount of ragda that you get and you still choose for more right so it takes balls to fill in your volunteer form so when people volunteer uh uh that's the first level of clearance that they have already crossed when mm-hmm. they volunteer for special forces when they take the decision to put their pen on that paper and sign it ki okay, i want to go one level higher now yeah i want to see more mm. yeah so that's the volunteer this thing and then you have to be at a certain level like there are merit lists and all that a lot of lot of people now apply for the special forces and all that in our time it wasn't so many but in my batch like it was an explosion normally there are five six guys out of a course of 300 350 or applying for special forces in my time there was 33 34 people who applied so because our instructors who were there from the special forces was so inspiring so when you volunteer you come into the you come into the you know if you fit in the bracket of various things that are required you are you are picked up and you're allowed to come to a special forces unit and in that special forces unit when you come in from the from the moment you land up at that gate from there onwards your life shifts everything is stripped off you right right from your ego to your clothes to your whatever it is there you are brought into the moment and that moment is crushing in nature mm. right I, I, are you allowed to expand on that or yeah, like yeah, like what what happens yeah so i'll complete what i'm saying and then take you down the sure. various alleys you know so you so you are you're basically you volunteer that's the level of clearance itself it takes a lot 
for a person to be able to sign that form because he knows if he fails you know there's so many things to lose so so many people know that you're volunteering for the special forces and all that you don't make it there's so much of disappointment within and then if you have an ego you'll have you'll feel less because other people will judge you and stuff like that there's a lot to lose if you really think about it but then people who are able to and there is never any surety that you will make it there is never any surety only those people are sure who don't even think about it they just land up there right the rest of the people who start judging whether i will get selected not get selected what will happen this will happen that will happen they go through a, a lot of inner turmoil and they have to deal with that besides dealing with what you know shit is being thrown at a volunteer so then when you reach the gate and then certain you come into an environment that environment is built to screw you is built to teach you break you and teach you new things but the spirit is the same so you it's you're already there you're just being taught right so uh, you go through that process it's a 3 month process and uh, I was very fortunate to go through 6 months of that process because of various reasons and then when you go through that entire process uh you learn a lot not only about special forces skill sets and things like that but also you learn you come to realize about yourself a lot of what your body is capable of what your mind is capable of what your heart is capable of and what is there beyond when you give up when you when you just let it all go and you're hanging by that thread of choice because it's a choice you made so you're hanging by the thread of choice constantly there constantly there and when you when that choice is so strong and you remain there that's what we are looking for self uh, a, an ability to make a choice for yourself and stick by it mm. so that's what filters out in combat you know that's what we want in combat so when when combat is happening when bullets are flying bombs are exploding people are freaking dying killing each other all that shit is happening intense amount of chaos it's chaos the whole universe is gone it's just like you're there right so it's at that time there is this immense amount of clarity or there will be an immense amount of confusion so that difference between immense amount of clarity and immense amount of confusion is based on how much of an ability to make a choice you have got so that we are able to determine during the probation process itself during the selection process itself we are able to determine that is this guy going to stick or is he go- is he going to run we don't judge it it's okay to run or whatever it's natural but that's not what's going to work in combat man you know if you run you're weakening the the team itself so mm-hmm. the team has to stand line up and fucking get into it so yeah. it has to be like that you have to go in rather than get out mm-hmm. you have to go in penetrate reach tear it open and open it up yeah. and make it your own yes, sir. you make that space your own so so there are certain kind of people who are at that consciousness level where they understand that the choice is theirs those are the kind of people we look for yes sir and the entire selection process is to be able to see uh whether that guy is like that or not so people are 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 already like that so we choose from those people mm. and the circumstances are su- such that all those people who are not already at the stage of making their own choices and sticking by them the rest of them just get out from there mm. they get out very very quickly there are some who are more 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 so we we that's why it is a long process people have different levels of being able to make a choice mm. we want the guys who can make the ultimate choice because they made it and they can stick by it even if you know yamraj comes and stands in front of you you'll tell a fucking put a bullet in you man get the fuck out of my way it's like that 